Hello everyone. Uh, today's lesson is spelling. Uh, we will try to highlight uh, some of the mistakes students uh, make uh, while writing. Uh, they are very common mistakes that are based on the lesson that we studied before homophones. All right, proofread the play. This is a play. You have to proofread it, which means read it and find if there are any mistakes and correct them. Six, six spelling mistake errors. Okay, there are six. This is number one. <clears throat> Write the words correctly on the lines. Find the sentence. So, uh, number seven, there is a sentence with capitalization error. So, here we have six spelling errors and words that we have to correct. Here, only capitalization. The sentence is correct, just has a capitalization mistake. For example, it is capital, we have to make it small letter. Or there is a small letter, we have to make it capital letter and we write all of the sentence and write it correctly. Okay. We read uh, this list here, uh, spelling words, will help you find the correct answer. The words here are correct. Let's see, Mario, a ball just went through your window. Okay, the word through, we studied this before. Through. Through here it means like to throw, uh, to throw or throw a ball. Uh, it means like to kick it. But here uh, it's not the same meaning. It doesn't make sense. Uh, a ball just went your through your windows. It means it broke the windows and it went inside. So the word we are looking for is through again, but we are looking for this one through like across so we will write it down here in number one all right and we continue uh mr chala uh, did the window break, uh, Mr. Mario? Yes, I think a small piece cracked. Okay, the second one. Piece. Piece means here uh, the opposite of war, fight. And here I'm not talking about this kind of piece. I'm uh, looking for a small. We have the keyword small and we have cracked. And we are talking about window. We know something that is broken. So a small piece, like a piece of cake. So um, I'm looking for the other piece. Oh, yeah. Where is it? This one. Piece. A small part, it means. Piece. So we write it in number two. Peace. Next. Uh, <clears throat> it's those neighbors playing their game again. Ah, there. This one means they are. They, apostrophe are. They are. So it is, also here, it is those neighbors playing. They are again. So no, just because when we when we shorten it, we say there, so it sounds there and there. There are three possibilities. There is this one that is they are, and where are the others? Yeah, and there is there as you are showing the place, and not here there, and there is there talking about people. Uh, something you own their house their car so this is what we we, we need now there uh, that indicates uh, uh, possession their game it means the game that uh, they do it they play it so we write it in number three there all right and let's do one more i thought they weren't allowed to play by the house allowed <coughs> allowed here means to uh scream to shout to make a loud sound and here it doesn't make sense to put it in the sense i thought they weren't allowed to play shout to play no 
occupy the house it means they are not they don't have permission they are not permissible to play here so we need the word that means permission uh, therefore the word is this one allowed because allowed allowed the same pronunciation different meaning different spelling you remember allowed okay okay sorry for this let me just redo it all right i want you to do the others uh, five and six they are also uh, spelling errors whereas number seven it is a sentence the sentence is correct only there is one letter that is maybe small letter you have to make it capital or a capital you have to make it small and you write all of the sentence here number seven we go to the second exercise <coughs> proofread words again uh, cross out the homophone that is spelled incorrectly write the correct homophone all right everyone cheered when the new queen sat on the throne okay the queen sat on the throne the chair of the queen or the king but this one here so let's cross it out uh, doesn't mean thrown uh, the chair that we want it means something that is thrown in the bin for example uh, the verb to throw something so uh, this is what we have got and um, but this is what we need thrown thrown okay number nine Tony beat Alan in the big race. So B is the homophone that we have to cross out because here B means the vegetable, beetroot, the red vegetable. And here we don't mean the vegetable. Tony beat Alan, it means he won. Uh, he won the game <coughs> or the race. So let's check then. Uh, B, 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 B. yeah here is it so we have beat beat this is what we have in the sentence and about this is what we need to beat someone in a game it means you win the game all right so this is for you to do as homework also this one even if it's clear let me write it I hope you enjoyed the lesson uh, as usual if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask me have a nice day goodbye